Hey guys, and welcome back to Everyday AI, the channel where we talk about how you interact with artificial intelligence in your everyday lives. Today we're revisiting a topic that we've actually touched on before, AI that can see. In the past we've talked about AI that can change the way your face looks, or AI that can generate entirely new faces, but none of them have been quite like this. Before we start, take a look at the following photos and then comment below with the numbers of the photos that you think are real and the ones that you think are fake. Also remember to subscribe and like this video while you're deciding. Okay, so assuming you read the title of this video, you should know that some of these pictures are fake. Hopefully I threw a couple easy ones in there for you. But aside from those, which ones are real and which ones are fake? Well, actually, all of the ones that I didn't just point out are fake. They came from a paper published by NVIDIA in late 2018 showing how we can use artificial intelligence to create photorealistic faces of fake people. Now, we've talked about this in the past. French developers used generative adversarial networks to create art that sold for more than $400,000 at auction. But, and no offense to artists, Art is arguably easier to make using artificial intelligence than believable faces. After all, there are fewer constraints on what we can say is art versus what we can say a face is. For example, this picture of a painting that someone painted by hand, this picture of digital art, a photo that someone made using Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, and this picture, which was created using AI, are all believable. They look like they could be in a museum somewhere but you probably wouldn't say the same thing for faces because there's certain components that we have to see in order to consider a face real or believable. Having your eyes, nose, and mouth arranged in a human-like fashion on your face is one of the basic components. And as soon as we start to diverge from that, you can see that it becomes less likely that we'd believe that these are real. Now, replicating realistic faces has actually been a really big challenge for artificial intelligence. We started by, instead of trying to create faces, just change our own. So you saw this in the app review that I did a while back on that app that could make your face look older, younger, could change your hair color. That's using generative adversarial networks. In fact, developers tried to make realistic looking faces in 2014. Can you tell which ones are fake now? Compared to those, we've obviously made a lot of progress in this area to the point where you probably had trouble figuring out which ones were real and which ones were fake at the beginning of this video. However, there are still ways to tell real photos apart from fake ones. Blogger, artist, and developer Kyle McDonald shared some of his tips in a Medium post. First off, AI hasn't quite figured out hair. <laughs> if you notice in some of the pictures, the hair might be blurred out, or it might look like it was painted on, kind of like an oil slick. Another thing you can look for is facial symmetry. AI doesn't realize that if you have an earring on one ear, you should probably have one on the other, unless that's what you're into. Or at the very least, if you're going to be wearing two, they should match. You also see a lot of asymmetry with people's eyes, so one person might have one eye is one color and another eye is a different color, and while that is a phenomenon that happens to real people, in most cases you wouldn't see that. However, based on the progress that we've seen over the last four years, we should only expect it to get harder to tell whether a picture is real or fake. There are other ways that researchers are looking into distinguishing real photos from fake photos, including looking at the metadata in a photo. So when you generate a photo, it doesn't have that location information, the type of phone that it was taken on that you see in the photos that you take on your phone or on your camera. You might also be able to insert signatures verifying that yes, this is in fact a real photo or no, this is in fact a fake photo as you generate these images. Okay. Go back through the images from the beginning and comment below again or reply to your own comment with the ones that you think are real now and the ones that you think are fake. Was it easier to figure out which ones were real this time? I'll also leave a sticky comment below to say which ones I initially thought were real and which ones I thought were fake. As always, if you wanna see more videos like this, please like this video and subscribe so that I know that you like this content. But that's all I've got for you today, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.